here's some good news for students of computer game design. According to a recent edition of The Economist, the video games industry seems to be recession-proof. Juan Hiriat recently graduated with an MSc degree in computer game design. Juan comes from Chile, where his newly acquired skills are being put to educational use by his country's government. I don't need to import textures to any format. and right. Everything is imported to the game engine uh, automatically, right. which is very nice. In every script, there is like a different kind of loops. I uh, use coroutines and, and the yield function. So this is not very effective, this is called maps, because to generate like this. Uh, I study in the Catholic University of Chile. Design is my, is my background. And after a couple of years being um, an assistant teacher uh, in design workshop, I became a lecturer and I started uh, developing different kind of projects uh, besides teaching. And uh, after six years, I finally moved to a faculty of education. So I am working trying to mix uh, design and education in some way. That's right. I teach for undergraduate students in, in learning technologies I, and I am uh, and I also work in development projects with some industries, and especially for the government. Um, some of the most interesting projects in which I'm working in is uh, related with uh, Native American communities. So I'm planning to use uh, game technologies, especially to like aware people about these communities and this, uh, this current situation. I started uh, developing different kind of learning technologies and then I became like very impressed with games and game technologies which is a very uh, interesting field of research and that's why I decided to come here to Salford to study a master to specialize myself in, 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 in games and that's the field that I, I want to continue working uh, in, in my university in the Catholic University of Chile. I started um, making a research from about different universities which offered the program of games, especially in the UK. And I decided to, to come here to Salford, because, uh, especially because of the broadness of, of, the, of the course. And I was interested in a kind of multidisciplinary approach to games and not, not only uh, game development, no, not the technical aspects only, but the different, different areas. I decided to study the Master in Science in Creative Games. The creative, it's a very open course in which many different uh, students with different backgrounds came to sp specialize in, in, in game development and especially the cultural aspects of, of games. It's not only focused on development, but it's, it's, a, broad, uh, it's a broad course. Well, there is la, uh, many courses that relate games with heritage, for example, oh. and architecture. And it's a, it's a kind of broad field, uh, which uh, has been called serious games which is a trying kind of tricky name because well for many authors for many authors the problem w w with serious games is that they are seriously boring but uh, we are like, exploring different kinds of using these technologies and how to like inject some fun and engage people to use them for other purposes like for example in in in, in medicine or to train people in, in at, at the corporate a train corporate training and and for uh, for, uh, for the school settings as well like in education or learning purposes you must be Aaron I was a good friend of your father and you look exactly like him it's a good thing to have Mapuche youth back to our community we currently have many problems and your help could make a big difference for us.
Would you help us, Penny? Excellent. Let us start by visiting our Lonko. I can guide you to his place. Please follow me, Aaron. I was involved in Chile with uh, some research projects in Native American communities, which are the, the poorest like people in Chile, and they are currently facing so many problems. So I decided to make a serious game, a learning game, about the Mapuche, which are the largest Native American community in Chile. And uh, finally, after six months, I, I get a, a nice demo uh, which would be pre presented to the Chilean government and to be further developed. Uh, but, but you're alone. I haven't seen you since you were a pichiche. My heart is very happy. Let's go inside to talk. kind of skills that I acquired during the course uh, are, are very, very valuable for my future work as I'm able now to develop kind of things that I, I couldn't imagine when I started the, the, the course. So it's, it's an area in which I'm, I'm going to continue working and, and I feel very, very happy with, with the course in general. Thank you.